This year for my Linux class, I thought we would start by using the distribution of Linux known as Linux Mint. Now, this tutorial will be about installing Linux Mint into a virtual machine. So I've got a Windows 7 uh, laptop here, and I want to install Linux Mint into a virtual machine. Now to do this, I'm going to need to download Linux Mint so I can either burn it to a DVD and install it from a DVD drive, or download the ISO file and install it directly from the ISO file. So first things first, you need to go to the website. So I'm at linuxmint.com, and this is where you can download Mint. I'm going to click on Download, and I need to choose whether I want Linux Mint 14 or Linux Mint Debian. So I'm going to choose Linux Mint 14, scroll down, and choose the version of which desktop I want to work from. I'm going to choose the Mate desktop, 64-bit, and I want this top one, not the one with no codex. I'd like to have the one with the codex so that I can have multimedia DVD support for playing DVD movies. So I'll click 64-bit. It takes me to this page, and now all I need to do is scroll down and choose which download mirror I want to download Mint from. So I'll just pick one and begin the download. Now I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to skip this part and show you that on the desktop I already have Linux Mint 14.1 Mate, the DVD version that supports the codex, and it's 64-bit version .iso file. It's almost a gigabyte in size. So now what I need to do is prepare my virtual machine so I can install Linux Mint into the virtual machine. Now for this, I've already downloaded and installed VMware Player. You can download VMware Player from VMware.com for free if you register an account at VMware.com. So I recommend that. This is VMware Player version 5. And now that I'm here, I'm going to create a new virtual machine. So I'll click Create New Virtual Machine. And I'm going to install the operating system later. So I want to create the virtual machine first and kind of play with the settings. And then I'll install the Mint into the virtual machine. So I'll hit Next. And it asks me, what am I going to do here? I could hit Linux here and then see if Mint, if there's a choice of Mint here. And you can see that Mint is not included here. Now, Mint is a very close to Debian and it's very closely related to Ubuntu, so I could choose those, or I could just say other Linux 2.6 kernel 64-bit, and that's what I'll do. So Linux 2.6 kernel 64-bit, I'll hit Next, and then I'll title it. So this is going to be Linux Mint, and I'll hit Next and the size of the hard disk that I want to use. So I'll put a maximum size of, let's say, 20 gigabytes. And I'll hit Next. And I'm also going to customize my hardware. So I'll customize the hardware. And for memory, I'll up the memory allottage to, let's say, a gigabyte, right? All right. And the processors, I'll say, Make it maybe two processors. All right, and CD, DVD. Instead of using the DVD drive, I have the ISO file right here on my desktop. So I can say use ISO image file. So I've selected new CD, DVD, and then click on use ISO image file, and then browse for it. So on the desktop, there it is. So I'll double click on that. There it's loaded in there. Now I've got a network adapter. I'm going to choose to have my network adapter. This is my NIC, my Ethernet NIC. I'm going to choose to have it in bridged mode. All right, does that sound good? And then I'll configure the adapters and make sure that my wireless NIC is chosen. So I can see here that my wireless NIC is the Intel Advanced N, and this is wireless AGN. I believe this is my wireless NIC, so I'll choose that and click OK. All right, that looks good. Um, I'll go to Display, and that looks good. Everything looks OK, so I'll click Close and Finish. And you can see that I now have this virtual machine built. It's a virtual computer waiting for Linux Mint to be installed into it. 
So now all I have to do is click Play Virtual Machine, and it's already been edited so that it will look directly in the CD DVD drive for this ISO file, and it'll basically boot from this CD DVD ISO file. So I'll click Play Virtual Machine, and it should find the ISO image file of Linux Mint, and then we can start installing Mint. OK, removable devices. I'm going to click OK for this. And you can see it found Linux Mint. And it's going to automatically boot. ISO Linux. Great. Looks like it's working out nicely. OK, I've got a warning that it was unable to mount the floppy disk. That's OK. I'll just click OK. Once again, as soon as you click in the window of the VMware player, your cursor will be captured, and then hopefully you can just drag right out, and then you can and get back to your windows. So in here, I'm now in Linux, and this is Mint, and what I want to do is install Linux Mint. So I'm going to click here, and now I can walk through the installation procedure. I'll install English, continue. All right, you can see that my internet connection is registered. All right, I've got a check mark there. I have at least six gigabytes of drive space, which is the minimum that I'm going to need to install Linux Mint. And so I'll hit continue. All right, and let's see here. Erase disk and install Linux Mint. All right, that sounds good. I'll choose this option. And I'm just going to accept the default and install it directly to the hard drive, the virtual hard drive that is, without partitioning this virtual hard drive. So I'll just click install now and it will start the installation procedure. Choose my time zone, my keyboard layout, my name, Choose a password. And I have a choice here of requiring my password to log in. I'm going to keep that check marked. Do I want to encrypt my home folder? I'm going to choose no for this um, and hit continue. OK, it's finished copying the files over, and now it's running the installation. And you can see here it's installing the system. OK, looks like it's running some post-installation and finishing the installation here. All right, installation complete. The installation is finished. You can continue testing Linux Mint now, but until you restart the computer, any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. So I'm going to restart to see if indeed the installation finished and I have an installed copy of Linux Mint to work with. So I'll click Restart Now. OK, the system is going down for a reboot. And when it comes back up, we'll see if our installation worked nicely and we receive a login screen. All right, it says, please remove installation media and close the tray, if any, and press Enter. Since we told the VM to boot from the ISO file, right, um, that's curious. So what I might do is, is take out the cursor. So I'll press Control-Alt on the keyboard. And I'll go to Player, and let's see here, Removable Devices. I'll go to CD, DVD, and go to Settings. And let's see if I can change this to use Physical Drive. I'll do that, 
and change it from use ISO image file back to use physical drive and I'll click OK and then I'll go back here and press enter. Alright so now it's restarting and this time it shouldn't look to the ISO image file to boot and we'll see what happens. Okay, it looks like it worked. So let's put in the username and hit enter and the password and hit enter. Okay, welcome to Linux Mint. Looks like the installation was successful and we now have um, a version of Linux Mint version 14.1 to work with. I'll uncheck this, show this dialog at startup, and I'll hit close. Let's go to the menu, and you can see, we'll see if we have internet connectivity. I'll open up the Firefox browser, and it looks like, it looks like we have internet connection, and we're good to go.